I hold up my name is Chidi Ndweki in Messi Magazine. So there was a time when I used to be very socially awkward. You understand? I used to hate social set settings very much. This was because I was in darkness in the sense I was uninformed on how to act. You understand? In social scenarios. You understand? Previously, I used to be very sociable when I was in school, when I went to school to do my national diploma. You understand? Then I returned from my IT. You understand? To serve in my mother's shop. So, while I was serving there, I couldn't have the opportunity. I didn't have the opportunity to socialize with people. You understand? To get into social events. You understand? So, I did that for almost a year. You understand? All I did was sell to people you understand there was no need for casual interaction all you do is just sell no laughing no personal discussion like you don't have a life at all you understand i did that for 365 days you understand there's no need for laughing when you are trying to sell something to somebody your customers just want to buy and leave so i became socially awkward i was in darkness socially you understand and i believe one of the main reasons why I became socially awkward was because I was not telling the truth and I had no responsibility. You understand? I was empty. So I was so impulsive. I was so self-conscious because I had no responsibility. I had nothing to hold me down. You understand? I was being protected. You understand? I didn't have to cook my food. I didn't have to think about shelter. I didn't have to think about. Um, I didn't have to have to do list daily to do list because my days were already programmed. You understand? Just to wake up, go to shop, sell, come back, sleep, go to shop, sell, come back, sleep. You understand? So I didn't have any variety of social events. You understand? To keep me grounded on how on how humans operate you understand so i basically was like an animal like a like a cow like a cow whose job was just to push load across the farmyard you understand so why i said i was not telling the truth then was that i really at that point i was not interested in the work i was not i hated the job i was doing you understand because it was not giving me joy you understand i hated what i was doing but i kept coming you understand so that lie that i was telling by coming to work every day even when i was not happy with it i was not happy that i was not carrying no load i was not happy that i was not being able to socialize i was not happy that i was not having the life that i used to have when i was in school to meet people because I love being in social situations. I love making friends. I love coming to people and asking them random questions. Then, like, you understand? So I hated that, let's call it a cage, that daily routine that is programmed. You understand? So instead of telling my truth that I'm not comfortable with this situation, I kept silent. And that discontent that maybe i can call it anger that i have that discomfort that i had you understand internalized in me and i started portraying that attitude to people to people outside of me because i was not comfortable i was not happy if i wasn't happy there's no way i'm going to make another person happy you understand you can only give what you have you understand so that's just the deal that was why I was just socially awkward then. Because I, I then, what the, the, the other part to it is that it's the point of my recovery. When it got so bad and I was unhappy with my life, then I began to explore. I began to watch video on YouTube. You understand? Every video I watched then, I, I, I take, I, my brain began to take notice of how people act. How people act in social scenarios, you understand? When to make eye contact and when to take away, when to look away, you understand? You understand? So like, when to speak and when to keep silence.
all those things i lost all those things during my stay in let's say call it that in that cage in that darkness i lost that sense of timing when to speak and when not to speak you understand so i basically lost my humanity then once i'm watching videos on youtube once i'm going to scenarios i started learning again i, th- I started relearning how human beings operate you understand so that's just the deal that's basically how i came out of it i came out of it through exposure i began to expose myself to social scenarios to social situations and began to see how people talk to each other you understand i went to say no i went to say yes you understand when to move away where to we went when to walk you understand it's not as if somebody be just telling you something you just turn your back and move away like it means nothing that's what social awkwardness means somebody is talking to you you don't know when you're supposed to listen when you're supposed to look at the person when you're supposed to move away so because you are ignorant because you are living in darkness you become so socially awkward that people people are confused what type of human being you are you understand so it's all about exposure that's yeah, just it's all about exposure you have to expose yourself to social scenarios you have to get information if you must become socially stable so that's the that's how i got out of it this true exposure and from my experience and from what i experienced i've had i decided to name my to give myself this personal name you understand exposure messy magazine exposure the exposure in those three names are exposure means going into the unknown messy means god belief you understand magazine gone magazine it means self-belief so exposure going to the into the unknown messy believe in god magazine gone magazine self-belief you understand so that's all those three things me going into the unknown believe in god and believe in myself so that's the deal so my name is chijin do you keep up and be strong one love